Look, I want you to take as much juice as you can out of your fragrances and smell better than other dudes. And to do that, I'm gonna show you seven hacks you can start implementing with whatever fragrance you have to smell better. Starting with number one, as soon as you step out the shower, I want you to apply body lotion. And I know what you're thinking, Jose, what the hell does body lotion have to do with fragrance? If you've ever noticed, anytime you buy a fragrance kit, it almost always comes with a body lotion, even for men, both men and women. And the reason is strategic. See, when you step out the shower, it's when your skin's the most hydrated. When you apply a body lotion, you add a layer where you cap the hydration against your skin and protect it against the outside. What happens is most of you, when you don't do this, your skin's ultra dry. As the day goes on, you apply fragrance, and then because the skin's looking for moisture, it'll suck the oils from your fragrance, making your fragrance lasts less. But if you hydrate your skin after, after the shower, your skin stays hydrated for longer and now your fragrance will sit on top of your skin so it can last longer. Number two, stack your fragrances. I learned this trick from Tom Ford. Probably the best thing you can do. See, if you ever want to smell better than other dudes, you gotta smell different. It, you, you won't smell better if you wear the same stuff everybody else is wearing. So let's say you do have your Dior Sauvage, your Bleu de Chanel, or you have the common fragrances, run the ones that everybody has. You could still stack them, where you apply two sprays of one specific fragrance and then grab another fragrance and stack a different scent on top of it. What ends up happening is you're almost like a perfumist here. You're, you're, you're a chemist, you're cooking in the lab, and every single day you'll smell a little bit different. It's a great way to start playing around with the scents that you have to create new fragrances that it kind of makes everything exciting, bro. And this is why with Santa Lucia, when we sell you a collection like our dark collection, I don't just want you to wear one of the fragrances. Yo, stack them up. Wear Asavache and Gala, or Gala in Love, or Gala, like you can mix, or you grab Love and mix it with Dior Sauvage. Mix and match your fragrances. Don't just wear one. If you want to spice it up and wear something that's 100% unique. So I'm actually going to hook it up for you guys. If you guys don't have solid fragrances, you already know, Santa Lucia is the place to go. Yo, our fragrances, top of the line. We use oils from France and Italy. Our stuff is made in France, which is the fragrance capital of the world. We're using the best materials in the world, like this top of the line stuff. Our stuff smells like niche $500 fragrances, but we make it at an affordable price. So if you guys want to check out the dark collection for a limited time for the next few days, if you guys click the link down below, I'm going to give you a 50% discount, but I'm not going to stop there. I'm also going to give you one of our travel bottles. They're refillable bottles. They're 50 bucks and that's on purpose. See these bottles, you can easily fill up with any of your fragrances, whether it be Santa Lucia or whatever you have. What I like to do with these, if you like to mix and match, once you've found a combination you like, you can easily mix in several different fragrances that you prefer into your bottle and you're technically making your own fragrance whenever you want. I'm going to give you that $50 bottle completely free plus 50% off if you guys click the link down below. Number three, apply in heat zones. This is strategic for two reasons. One, it helps expand the fragrance so it smells stronger, and two, it only does so in intense situations. That's why you wanna apply in heat zone. See, there are areas in your body where your veins run closer to the skin. This makes the skin or that area a little bit warmer than the rest of your body. These are your heat zones, right? This could be your neck, your wrist, the back of your knees, your elbows, these areas are, tend to be warmer than the rest of your body. What ends up happening is that when your blood starts pumping, let's say you're in a sexual engagement, you're talking to a girl, your, your heart's pumping, these areas will heat up and then expand your fragrance strategically right when you need it. Which takes us to number four, use Vaseline to expand its life. Similar to body lotion, but kind of like on steroids. See, Vaseline, it's, it's petroleum, so it doesn't get absorbed by the skin as quickly as your basic body lotion does. So if you wanna take that same trick about body lotion and take it to the extreme, grab Vaseline, put it on the heated areas, right? The wrist, the neck that I just talked about, strategically, just put a little bit on there, and then spray over the Vaseline. The Vaseline, it's not gonna get absorbed by your skin, and now it's gonna allow for the fragrance to sit on top of your skin even longer. Number five, try women's fragrances. 
I've said this, if you look at my fragrances when I designed them, there's feminine inspiration in some of them, especially the romantic ones. I like to add feminine notes within that fragrance so when you are talking to a woman, there's some familiarity undertones there. So when you approach her, there's a little bit more trust and I'm trying to make your life a little bit easier. You could do this with women fragrances. There's great women fragrances that are borderline on the unisex, right? Especially, for example, Elabo has phenomenal women fragrances that my wife has. Yo, I, I like to wear them all the time because it's a great way to switch it up so you're not wearing what everybody else is wearing. It takes us to number six. You never rub your fragrance. This is not so much a hack but a warning. Most of you, when you apply a fragrance, the first thing you do is you like to rub, rub it on. But what you don't understand is that a fragrance works on three layers. You have your top layers, your mid layers, and your base notes. What ends up happening is that when you rub your fragrance, you basically destroy those top notes and immediately jump into the base notes. You shorten the life of the fragrance and you kind of remove some of the excitement of going through all the layers, through all the notes, which ultimately rolls us to number seven, reapply midday. This is the best hack you can do. See, sometimes you'll just need a boost, not only for other people, but for yourself. When you apply a fragrance, at least for myself, it's like I get reinvigorated. I I'm excited. I you feel more confident. You feel great about yourself. The best thing you can do is have a travel case, which I'm gifting you one already when you shop the, the collection, but you, you have it near you. You have it in your pocket, in your office, in your backpack, in your car, wherever. And when you're feeling a little bit down, you want to refresh in your look a little bit, yo, reboost midday.